Hello everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa Competizone with the FSR wheel from Mazda Racing. This wheel has made this game so much more better with the ability for all the adjustments and the display and everything like that. Just to quickly touch on that is the ability to have something simple as all the way down here in controls, ABS settings to individual numbers based on the dials. So instead of no, like up and down, no, oh, what threshold level am I on or whatnot like that, the numbers on the actual wheel are what is going to be happening into the game. You don't have to remember where you are. You just look at it and know, okay, I'm going to be on this level with this level all the way. And you can have presets and know where you're going to be, not have to dial it real quick or whatever. So making this game so much better. So we're going to do a little quick race here. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you follow in the description box below. Let's get to it. So we are starting all the way in the back of the grid. And we do have our hand clutches and everything installed and turned on. Low tire pressure, stay away from curbs. That double is pretty awesome with that. I don't think we have, no, we don't, we are in a GT4 car, so we don't have much adjustment when it comes to trash control and stuff like that, we're in an Audi R8 GT4. Try and warm ourselves up. We do have 640 degrees of rotation turned on because that is what the uh, R8 would be in this configuration. Green light. Give it all you got. So we did get a pretty good jump. We're gonna try and make our way up all the way from 19th. I thought about doing that, but nope. That's kind of a very aggressive, oh, into that section. Trying to remember the track, so. We're gonna outbreak him on the outside? That's not very common. Don't shift in a second. The force feedback of this R5 is incredible right now. We are on the factory GT settings for the in the pit house app. All we did was adjust our wheel rotation to mimic what this R8 would be. And we are trying to get as high up as we can. That was a really aggressive braking move, but we managed to uh, pull it off somehow. I believe they're at 90% skill level, so they're not like super slow. I just managed to outbreak him. Let me get that draft. We'll flash the pass there. Still on the inside of us. We're gonna have to take the rumble strip out still there we did get a little track warning limits we had to go wide so we didn't wreck him he's still there apparently I was braver on that section than he was I don't think I need to break too much I thought that was gonna be much tighter than it actually was 19th to 10th in the first lap. Now we gotta see if we can catch up more. We only have a 10 minute race, so. Really late on the break trying to gain some ground here. I think I'm actually out driving my tires. We are in a very aggressive setup, but because we know it's only a 10 lap race, I'm actually pushing this car way harder than it needs to be going right now. Trying to uh, pick up as much time as I can. Because it's basically gonna be only 
few like a few laps maybe. Two or three laps. We have six minutes left. So roughly probably three laps. Oh, and that's not gonna do it. I was looking at how much time was left on the track in the race. Not the not the track, and that's not what you need to do. We got somebody on the right side of us. And we're back in P11. Should be able to definitely take him pretty easily. GT4 cars are definitely so much fun to drive. One of my favorite classes to drive in. Definitely loving this wheel with how it feels. He's gonna break there. Nope, he did not. Give a little flash there. Oh, he's gonna close the door on me. Okay, we'll use him to gauge our speed through that section and we'll probably dive in on him there. Not gonna be able to make that. Whoa! Car got a little squirrely on the back end of that one. All right, so now we know our actual lap time was two minutes, so two minutes, 14. We need to make sure we don't miss the braking zone here. We'll try a cut over right now. And he's blocking me at every, uh, every turn. Oh, that's a dive bomb. It's a very greasy dive bomb. We didn't make it stick either. He's still there. Oh. oh, this is a pretty good battle, though. Oh, I think we may have... Oh, don't do that. We may have etched him out there. Not the way I wanted to, though. We didn't touch him, but that got super sketchy. And he's still on us, though. This is a pretty good battle. I missed my breaking zone again. I did it again. I wasn't paying attention. Same corner. Game positions and lose them. Not something I need to be paying more attention to my breaking zones. So now we're back in P12. like to... Uh, Get a 10th place finish from 19th. We gotta pick off these two cars in three minutes. So we do have three levels of trash control, but the car seems to be doing quite one on well on one, but we're just gonna go to two and see. can't pull some extra speed out especially in those turns that we keep over throttling ourselves in and they're losing me so we're gonna dial that back consistent lap times though so this wheel is definitely making the race experience that much cooler and super excited to do some more racing stuff as well as probably going to be hopping in back in i racing and competing in mazda's f3 race event that they are hosting on i racing because why would we not go drive in the formula series for mazda with the mazda formula wheel we got about two minutes left so we're gonna get this lap and one more lap I believe so to watch our braking zone coming up here and not send it into the grass all right that's what we need to do Trying to catch these guys, but they seem to uh, be on pace with me. 
Like I said, I do have them, I believe, at 90 or 95%, so they're up there. Not an easy feat at all, starting from all the way in the back. I've managed to be clean for pretty much this entire race. What? Oh, no! Did we get a puncture? Oh, I can feel it. Oh, this is not good. I can feel a vibra- Oh, that's not good. I think we just got a puncture in our tire. We're gonna be trying to limp this through to finish it. Oh, I can feel that. Messing with me. Personal best, but oh, I can definitely feel that tire loss. Yep, yep. The car is not happy. We may have to settle with a 12th place, or at least try and defend ourselves in 12th. Because he did say losing pressure in the right rear. That car skated. I don't have grip. Nope. Oh, gutted. Oh, that's not good, and that's not a way to enter in on track. Yep. So, unfortunately, that's going to be the end of our race. But oh, if you guys enjoy this, you guys want to keep seeing racing content here on the channel, let me know down in the comment section down below. We managed to get up into 10th and then screwed ourselves on a braking zone and then back and forth from 10th to 12th. And then unfortunately now we have some mechanical issues going on right now. And it's causing us to have to kind of baby this car through this, yeah, through this final uh, section. Nope, I was trying to mess with my controls. Nope. This is why you don't look away when you are racing. Uh, unfortunately, that is a huge mistake. So definitely uh, been a up and down race. So we are back down in 20th, 21st. Don't let go of the wheel. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching Honeyful Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. <laughs>